uh, what I'm gonna do is show some top secret. This yeah. week, uh, there's two about Clue and yes. one about our new board that'll be coming out soon, the Feather Blue Fruit Sense. So, yes. take it away past us. Yes. No. Wow. All right, later. what is this? Machine learning on the Clue board. This is the board I'm working on right now, and it's even coming soon in the store. The Clue NRI 52840 board with all these sensors, including a PDM microphone, which means it can do micro speech recognition with TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers. Very exciting. All right, cool. Adafruit.com slash Clue. Ooh, it has a special URL. What is this? Well, everyone loves micro bit shaped boards like the Clue, which has all these sensors built in, and they also love feathers like the seven segment feather. I thought, how do we combine the two by making a micro bit to feather adapter? So here it is with the Clue in it. But then if I remove this, plug in the seven segment feather, and then plug in this micro bit, boom! Seven segment action. And, uh, You've got battery charging, a LiPo battery here with a battery charging circuit, so you can make portable projects, power switch, and uh, yeah, you can use any of our feathers with micro bit shaped boards now. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, Nita, what is this? Hey, I'm sitting at a panel Sunday night. I've got nine Stemma boards here. Some of these are like revisions of existing sensors we have, like the Psi 721 or the VL6180. Some are new, like the HTS221. ICM 2649, LPS 2X, you know, list to MDL. I also did a revision of the Clue board and a couple little things. I added a couple LEDs, moved the magnetometer. And then uh, the big thing I did worked on today is I made this new Feather NRF 52840. This is the NRF 52840 Blue Fruit module. So that's that um, nice circuit Python and Arduino compatible Bluetooth chip. And um, I removed the SWD connector, which was here, and added a accelerometer gyroscope, magnetometer, um, humidity sensor, barometric pressure and temperature sensor, light proximity, color, and uh, also a PDM microphone. Whew. And here's uh, the board as it Yeah, sits I didn't now. actually have to change that much. Only the middle section... I basically took out the SWD connector, which we put on mostly because we were, it was our first NRI 52840 board, and we're like, we were a little nervous, like, what if people have to reprogram the chip? So we're like, well, let's put an SWD connector so at worst, you know, people can plug in their J-Link or whatever. But uh, I just removed it, and it gave me enough space. I just brought over the I2C pins, and then um, I dropped the 32 kilohertz crystal as well because I needed two more high-speed pins um, for the microphone because the microphone's like a one megahertz you know, speed uh, PDM device. Um, but, you know, everything kind of fit in the right place. All right, back in the vault. Okay.